Yep, and I'm recording. Okay, so what would I do if um, if um, life or it seems like I'm being presented with work to do that I just don't want to do, or life keeps putting things in my way which I'd rather not do? I'm not sure whether uh, that's uh, my ego won't do or my it's it's uh, my heart would love to do. I wasn't not clear on that, but what would I do? And that's quite uh, clear for me what I would do is uh, um, I, I mean I'm uh, I do the Course in Miracles I'm also a student of Dr Hawkins so I, I seek enlightenment full dissolution of the ego and um, so uh, um, and I I mean there are different pathways of spirituality but I'm more probably more a mystic than that of the selfless service even though that does take uh, happen as well um, so I like to transcend transcend stuff uh, until it disappears um, and then uh, trust that my egos um, my ego registering that information of not wanting to do and the feelings that are coming up of not wanting to do are, are fully transcended so that that situation starts to dissolve as an actual occurrence in perception and I, I have always experienced a miracle when I dissolve the feelings and thoughts around any issue so it's never let me down and it doesn't even need a specific answer. I mean, sometimes life will present like you have to make a choice quickly, but usually it doesn't. Uh, so what do I mean by that? Let's say, um, um, uh, let's say like someone says like, do you wanna, um, what'd be a horrible job? Like, uh, um, I'm trying to think, would you like to do the accounts for, your uh, for my business next week? And I'll pay you a lot of money. I'd, I'd probably want the money, but I probably wouldn't want to do that job or whatever it is. Um, so I would, um, if I if I felt intuitively, if I felt it was God's will that I needed to do that, then I would transcend it um, and trust. Often, um, so I mean, it's quite a lot to share. Often, when you start transcending something, are you feeling out the repressed feelings and cancelling the thoughts? Often that thing will no longer need to be done it'll either miraculously get sorted or even if you show up for it it'll go effortlessly without any any problems whatsoever almost like it, nothing happened so um and that has been my experience so how do you so let's say i've said yes i'm going to do this horrible job next week then I would have these feelings of aversion, feelings of fear or disgust or not or sloth, or, or and I'd have these thoughts like, why did I say yes? And I'd rather not, and I can't stand it. I have to show up next week to do this thing. Um, but um, so those are those are two components. They're the thoughts and there's the feelings, the repressed feelings and the thoughts. So I would work on clearing those. Um, also, I'd say that the reason that this situation occurred is because of my karma. So for some reason, I'm holding thoughts in mind and have repressed feelings within my ego that are pulling situations towards me, which I, I, I label as being horrible or I don't wanna do it. And they bring up feelings and thoughts in me of, of aversion. So, and the universe is probably gonna keep putting those kinds of jobs or similar situations my way until I clear the repressed feelings and the thoughts that are keep perpetuating this thing showing up in the universe in my perception on a regular basis. So whether I say yes or no, I can't escape my repressed feelings and beliefs because the universe will just keep presenting that problem over and over again. So whether I it seems I have to do it or not, um, I need to get to work, if I don't, especially if I don't like it, to clear the repressed feelings and thoughts. So. First of all, uh, is there any feelings I can sit with? And I do the, I mean, it, it's from Hawkins, but it, I call it feel the feelings. Sitting with any feelings, like could be fear or disgust or whatever it is, or anger at myself for saying yes to the job. And just sitting, stop labeling it, stop putting a thought on it, uh, stop identifying with thoughts and just allow those feelings to be fully experienced and just sit, keep sitting with that feeling and let it all come up. It could be you're sitting with it for hours or, or even weeks, but feel it until it dissolves and there's nothing left in there to dissolve around this issue. And then write down what are the belief systems? What, what is it you don't like about the work? 
those are all things that you could either I cancel my belief, I don't like this type of work, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind, or maybe it's self-attack thoughts. Uh, I, uh, I uh, ca cancel my self-attack thoughts about saying yes to work I don't want to do. Uh, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Uh, God did not create this job, so it's not real. God did not create the future, so it's not real. Um, God did not create unpleasant work, and so it is not real. So as you find the thoughts and you clear them through cancelling the thoughts or saying God did not create them, they're not real, and you sit with the feelings, it starts to disappear and dissolve that th there's a problem. Uh, basically, whenever you do something where you've cleared it and you have to do it, it's basically like nothing happens. It's like it's so effortless and easy. Um, like uh, if I said to someone, I'll pay you a thousand pounds to put the kettle on. I mean, no one's going to have a huge problem with that because it's not, there's not ego baggage. It's only where there's ego baggage associated with stuff that it feels like it's work or something in the future that you don't want to do. So there's a huge either, a, in that case, it'd be a huge aversion rather than an attraction within the ego. Um, just to say, my experience is, um, if you transcend something, often it won't show up, or if it does show up again in life, you hardly notice it because there's no baggage around the issue. So the, the work is to clear yourself. And sometimes it is to say no to things. Uh, if there's an incapacity to say no to things which are not in your highest good. Um, and uh, um, I would just say, uh, and give you this thing, which I just think is such a beautiful example um, the stories of Dr. Hugh Len, um, uh, who's very famous in sort of um, New Age circles, which is um, a guy who just, I, I call him a mystic, he trans clears the data in his head. So he's, he took the file of a whole prison full of um, violent inmates in Hawaii and just forgave them all or cleared the data that they'd done anything wrong. And they all got well and the prison shut down. So clearing or transcending the data you're holding in consciousness around any issue work or things in the future or your own self thoughts has enough power in it to even clear a whole prison full of mad people so don't uh, take it lightly just transcending stuff okay i'll stop there